Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Blossom, and welcome to my podcast. Yay. I never thought I'd say this, but look at me. I am sitting in my bed, just, you know, working from home. It's 2021. Everyone's starting a podcast. I felt like I was having FOMO, so I had to join in on this bandwagon. And you know what? If you don't have a podcast, you need to get on it. So, who am I? My name's Blossom. I don't know. I think I may have mentioned that, but forget my last name. Um, we don't need to go there. So um, I think I'm the only Blossom out there. And you know what? If there are Blossoms out there, shout out to y'all. We're the OGs. But anyways, here we go. I'm a pharmacist and I am actually in public health right now trying to get my master's, you know, love school. But um, I really like, you know, health education. So I thought, why not make a podcast about health education? You know, why not? There's a million of us out there. So let's just do it. Hopefully I get one or two followers. It's all good. So anyways, um, I started this podcast because I've been doing a lot of, um, you know, health equity, health education, things related to, you know, what people need to know about how to better their health. And I thought, you know what, a lot of people listen to the podcast this day. So why not make one about what to do to control your health? What are the health problems out there? Most people don't know. I would assume I wouldn't know if I was in if I wasn't in public health. So here we go. I'm going to talk to you about that. And, you know, I actually started an Instagram page where I just post a bunch of random stuff, memes and whatnot. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, um, usually I have some short fact sheets or a little random facts um, I put on there. If you like that kind of stuff, definitely follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Health Facts with a CX. Um, someone beat me to it, so I had to get creative. Anyways, um, so follow me on Instagram. I also started a blog. You know, if you're the sciencey type, you want your evidence. Um, I have a blog where I kind of put more detailed information. Um, there are specific topics on there that I um, started, you know, working on. So far, I think I have about two articles on there, but um, obviously my plan is to grow um, that blog. So if anyone would like to, you know, get some information about medical related um, issues, I'm just, I guess you can subscribe to my podcast, first of all. And second of all, you can send me a comment or send me a DM on my Instagram, any topic you'd like to know more information about. I'll do my research, I'll do all the work, and I will get you information kind of broken down to like, you know, level of someone who is not, you know, a doctor, I guess, um, someone who just needs the basic info, no medical lingo jargon crap. So that's my plan. Um, I just wanted to take a moment here to talk about the first article that I kind of had in my blog. And this is kind of how I'm going to delve into what I will be doing in this podcast. So I did a little dive in into locus of control. That's more of a psychological thing or psychology, which is not my area. So I kind of just did a little like a little summary, you know, so you can understand what I mean whenever I say locus of control. So um, I did that because I wanted to make sure that people who are listening or reading my stuff are aware of what I mean when I'm trying to say that, you know, increased education and knowledge about all of the issues around you will increase your internal locus of control. I say that, but then you don't know what locus of control is. So let me take a moment to explain that to you. Locus of control is basically a person's belief of how much control they have over their fate, their future, whatever you may call it. Depend on your religion, I guess. Some people believe in fate, whatever. But anyway, so um, some people have strong internal locus of control. Some people have strong external locus of control. If you have a strong internal locus of control, see, I can't say the word. Whew. Anyways, if you have a strong internal locus of control, that basically just means that you believe that you have the ability to control all the factors that determine your future or your fate. You have, um, you depend more on yourself than you do on the external factors like, you know, politics or lawyers or doctor, I don't know, whatever it may be. But anyways, um, someone with a stronger external locus of control believe that all the other factors, environmental factors, everything outside of themselves controls their future. So um, technically that's true. There are a lot of factors that do control 
um, a person's fate, future, whatever. It's uncontrollable, the government, all that stuff. Um, there are a lot of things that kind of limit what we can and cannot do. Understandable. However, sometimes knowing knowing what you can do to change certain things in your life, that gives you a stronger internal locus of control because you know what you need to do. Yes, there are factors and limitations that might prevent you from getting where you need to be, but having that knowledge gives you, I would say, a little bit more, like, uh, it gives you a little extra on you. It gives you a little more fighting power, you know? So um, that's kind of the little bit that I just wanted to talk about. So stay tuned for my podcast. Um, I would, my plan is to get something out every Wednesday. All right, everybody, let's take a moment here to give credit where credit is due. If you haven't heard about Anchor before, you're hearing it from me now, all right? It's a creation app that allows you to record, edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. It will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. It is free. What did I say? Yes, yes, I said it's free. You can make money from your podcast as well. So what are you waiting for? Go and download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Let's go. I would really love to get input, comments about things that you'd like to know, your opinions, everything. I love to hear other people's opinion. I love to go on rants about all the public health problems that we have. So you know what? This is my opportunity to get my personal therapy, you know, let it all out. So anyways, that's my plan here. Um, Did I mention to follow me on Instagram? Because if I didn't, I'm saying it again. Follow me on Instagram. It's health facts with a CX. Do not follow the person that spelled it correctly because that's not me. Um, There's overachievers that decided to do this before me. Anyways, health facts with a CX at the end. And um, also my blog is the same healthfacts.com. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much all of the information that I have for you today. Like I said, stay tuned. I will try to post things out here every Wednesday. And um, on my blog, I will try to get more information every Monday on there. So um, I think my podcast will kind of follow all of that information. Um, That's kind of my intention to align everything, you know, post it first in my blog. That way you can go back and look at it if you ever want. I do have um, my blog website um, it's in my Instagram page. It's kind of on the homepage. Um, so if you were ever having difficulty spelling it, you can definitely just click on that and not have to do any scientific education related crap just to get to my website. So um, that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, before I let you go, all I got to say is subscribe. Please subscribe. I need that money. So subscribe. <laughs> Thank you very much and have a great day.